Simon Bolak prepares to receive the World Sportsmanship Prize for an immaculate career. The Foundation is proud to award this special prize to Simon Bolak, the gentleman of the pitch, for his exemplary playing career. Not a single foul, not one misstep. Wow! That's the time he switched teams at halftime to help the other side pull even. What? A gentleman. It's easy to not commit fouls if you don't play hard. Come on, Erico. Bolak was also the best striker in the championship. Not to mention his modeling career and being spokesperson for the Smiles for Orphans charity. I hate that guy. Why are we painting you gold again? So I can be the trophy. Oh! <laughs> Is this like a prank? Yeah, a really good one. <laughs> Wait till I get on stage. Then I'll ruin Mr. Perfect's perfect career. Wait, what? But that's so mean. <laughs> Showtime. Erico! No! <laughs> This is huge! Thanks! Short but sweet, from a player who's just as sweet. Oh, come on! I didn't get a chance to say anything! <laughs> I thought he would never leave. <laughs> Think, Platana. Think! There's gotta be a way out of here. Hello, Mr. Bolak. I wanted to ask you for an interview for my magazine. Uh, great. What magazine? Daniel Magazine. This is huge. Daniel's come to my rescue. I'm getting out of here. Hmm. If you were a tropical fish, which one would you be? Hmm. Oh, no. What on earth is he doing? I've never thought about it, but... Sorry, where were we? As I was saying... Oh, well... Oh. Hello? It's for you. Hey, it's Platana. Remember me? Your friend who's still locked in the display case! Uh, yeah, of course. I didn't forget. <laughs> Drop the interview and get me out of here! All good? Uh, yeah. Uh, can I please have a glass of water? One glass of water coming up. Oh, no! It's locked! Look for the keys! He put them down somewhere! Huh? Wow! You find them? It's a plate with Simon's face on it! Focus, Daniel! Focus! One glass <laughs> of water! Duh! My commemorative plate! Oops! Sorry! Uh, is this tap water? Do you have any sparkling water instead? <sighs> One sparkling water coming up! Hurry <gasps> up! Okay. Whoa! There's a whole Simon Bolak dining set in here! Not now, Daniel! Dinner plates, soup plates, teacups, coffee cups, saucers, egg cups, milk jug, there's even a sugar bowl! That's not gonna unlock this door! <laughs> One sparkling water... Oh, no! My dinner plates! My soup plates! My teacups! My egg cups! My milk jug! Even my sugar bowl. Uh, I'm really sorry. Also, could I get some cookies with my sparkling water? <sighs> cookies coming up! Just please don't touch anything else. Anything. I won't, I promise. <laughs> Sorry! Do you have a broom in the closet? No, not the closet. No one touches. 
the forbidden closet. Huh? Hmm. Uh, I'll go get your cookies. Got it. Finally. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Wait a sec. Don't you want to know what's in the forbidden closet? But Simon said we shouldn't touch it. It would be really rude of us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Silly me. It would be really rude of us. Everyone has the right to keep a few little secrets. Ha <laughs> bingo. There it go. No! No! Huh? A memory stick? This is wrong, Eriko. You shouldn't rummage through other people's stuff. Are you a journalist or not? This is a great scoop for your magazine. Hmm. It's one of Simon Bodak's old matches. Why is he hiding it in the closet? Hey, wait a second. Simon, Simon Bodak, Bodak committed a foul? foul? Impossible! He's never committed a foul. <laughs> In your face, Mr. Perfect! I knew his nice guy act was too good to be true. Just wait till I post this online. His career is over. No, Erico! You can't do that! You know what? You're right. What was I thinking? I gotta film his reaction when he finds out! Hmm. Say goodbye to your career, Mr. Perfect. Daniel's a nice kid, but unfortunately, he's trouble. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, my trophy? What are you doing here? And you can talk? Uh, no. Okay, fine, I can talk. But it's because, uh... I'm your conscience. This is huge! And then he drops the saucers on top of the sugar bowl, and I really thought I was going to lose it. So, Mr. Perfect, not always so even-keeled, are you? I never lose my control, but this kid, he's both super annoying and super... <laughs> Adorable. Exactly. Sometimes I get the feeling my whole career is a lie. Me too. Well, I mean, about your career, that is. At first, you're scared of going onto the field. But once you're out there, there's only one thing you're scared of. Getting benched. Hmm? Ah, sounds like cookies are ready. This talk has done me a world of good. We should do this more often. Love to. Love to. Cookies! Shall we wrap this interview up? <gasps> uh... I knew this would happen eventually. No, wait! It's not what you think! You know what, Daniel? I'm done with lying. Show people this video. Show the world! No! <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. You can't throw your whole career away over one silly little foul. I can't live with the secret anymore. It's too heavy of a burden to bear. Football needs you. Kids look up to you. I have to free myself from this lie. The world has to know. Think of your fans. Think of the kids. Stop! That's enough, both of you. I have to show you something. <laughs> You weren't the one to bring him down, Mr. Bolak. Someone threw a shoe at him. There's the culprit. At the time, you were on the same team as Erico Platana. Oh, yeah, I've forgotten all about that. So that means I've never committed a foul? Platana, you old bum. You're still the greatest sportsman in the world. Erico had been planning his trick for a long time. Oh, I remember now. He criticized my hairstyle. 
And to think that for all these years, I thought I was a monster. When in fact, the monster was Eriko, not you. You guys at Daniel Magazine are pretty sharp. What a scoop. Puh, scoop. So, are you pals with Simon now? Whoa, 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 take it easy. I just might hate him a bit less. We realize we've got a few things in common. Things that drive us both crazy. Can you please stop with the pen? Don't miss the next issue of Daniel Magazine with all your favorite sections. Snoop McDaniel's Case Files. Madam Daniel's Horoscope. The Witch Daniel or You Quiz. Grandma Daniel's Recipes. Holy moly, Daniel. Such amazing progress. I'm flabbergasted. So, how do you like those new magic sneakers? They're not magic, Eriko. I know you made that up just to show me that the power to win was all along... ...in my heart. <laughs> what? Of course they're magic. I bought them from the sorcerer. Huh? You mean they're really magic? Now that you mention it... I think he said cursed. Your cursed sneakers. Cursed, yep, he definitely said cursed sneakers. <laughs> you can't throw away a gift. With those sneakers, you'll be a champion in three weeks. Cheating is wrong. And your sneakers are freaking me out. Yeah, I'll never get my body back at this rate. How's that for cursed? What's the matter? It's the sneakers, Eriko! They're back on my feet! I'm cursed! Cursed! Stop making it all about you. Think of the team. Did you see their faces when you were playing with them yesterday? Their eyes were filled with pride, love, and dare I say hope. They were? They were. But hey, if you want to throw their dreams in the old trash can, that's totally your call. Just get rid of the sneakers. Hmm? Also, if you keep them, you and I are both the same. Both cursed! <laughs> cursed! Great game out there, Daniel. So great that it's making me jealous. So great that... So great that I feel like a loser. I'm so jealous. We're just not good enough anymore. What's your secret, Daniel? What's your secret? I'm begging you, Daniel. Tell us your secret. I'm begging you. <sighs> I'm not really supposed to say anything, but... Hmm? I'm begging you. It's my sneakers. <laughs> Hey, are we cursed or what? <laughs> cursed! I'm so glad you came around in the end. The sorcerer told me you'd get used to the side effects. The what? <laughs> there we go. I can't sleep. It's only flies and weird voices. Go back to sleep. It's not that. It's the bed. And my sneakers are being mean to me. Hmm? Oh, my sneakers are being mean. We'll see about that tomorrow on the field. I'm not sure I like being cursed. Hey, you're not the only one cursed here. Do you hear me whining? Uh, yeah, all the time. Hmm, being a champion isn't easy, okay? Come on, go back to sleep. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? 
Daniel, is it me or are they all wearing cursed sneakers? I might have shown them my pair. And the Sorcerer's Online shop and sponsored them to sign up. Sign on the dotted line with your blood. 15% off your next purchase. What a bargain. Hmm? Ouch! Curse my aching back! <laughs> Curse. Or did the level just go up a notch around here? This is awful, Erico! The basil nuts are cursed! Let's not jump to conclusions, Daniel. Once I bought the cape and the hat, I couldn't let the belt and the gauntlet pass me by. Said, let's not jump to conclusions. Ah! I shouldn't have bought the cursed earrings. <laughs> okay, we may have gone a bit too far. Mm -hmm. ah! Listen up. <clears throat> sure, these sneakers have raised our game. Mm -hmm. But look at what we've become. Hmm. Daniel's right! It's not really nice on the other side! We won't play so well if we take them off. But at least we'll be ourselves again. <laughs> no more curses! No more curses! We sure had a good scare, right? Yes, but all's well that ends well. Psych! I wasn't even scared. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh no! I forgot! Why do they always come back? Ah, shouldn't have gone for the lifetime guarantee. Okay, let's go see the sorcerer. But I warn you, you're doing the talking! Well, yeah, the screams, yeah. Well, maybe you shouldn't have signed up for the Full Moon special offer. What can I do for you? It's the cursed sneakers. We don't want them anymore. Uh, sorry! Mm -hmm. No refund or exchange on the cursed items. <whistles> hmm? Sorcerer speaking. Please, Mr. Sorcerer. We'll do anything to get rid mm -hmm. of them. An evil pressure cooker? Let me just see what's in stock. <whistles> ah! mm -hmm. You okay? I should have never turned my massage therapist into a potty hat! Maybe what you need is... a little back rub. Come on, any day now. Good luck, kid. Oh, cold hands! I can't stand cold hands! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my aching back. I'll never be able to take back all those sneakers. Mm. I can't. I just can't do it. Take this, Erico. What's that? It's my magic pet rock. It'll give you strength. Are you kidding me? Trust me, with this stone, you can do anything. Y'all knock off the baloney. It is baloney, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, on the lower back. Harder. Oh, you have magic pants. Oh, thanks. I feel like a new man. Come on, kids. In you go. You were right, Daniel. That pet rock is magic. I felt its energy spread through my body. It was incredible. 
Fooled you! There's no such thing as magic pet rocks. It was just an old pebble I found in my pocket. The real magic was in your heart all along. Uh, Erico? I don't know when or how, but one day I'll get my revenge and you'll spend your life regretting this little joke. What? No, not then. I mean, ha ha ha! Oh, you really got me this time! <laughs> <laughs> I slept like a cherub on a cloud. And look at all these pollinating insects. That's just what our vegetable patch needs. And just when I thought my day couldn't get any better, look what I found in the trash! Huh? Meh! 